Hey, this is a research paper that caught my eye for different reasons than it typically does on my channel. Flat out and upfront, I think that anyone could take a team and build out what I'm going to go over here in this video into a 50 to $100 million exit within like 18 months to two years, like flat out. That's exactly what this is. They, they've done all of the work for you. This is very beautiful overall. And I want to showcase this. Like I, I, this is a very unique find to come across to me on uh, the archive site. And then I think a lot of people are just going to like, there was a ton of research papers that came out today for some reason, like double the normal amount. So I think a lot of people are going to sleep, especially on this one, right? This is like, they're like the back end of the, the ones that came out and it's called AD agent. And it's not ad agent. AD is anomaly detection agent, a multi-agent framework for end-to-end -end anomaly detection. And then it's put out by USC, Carnegie Mellon, and ASU like so uh, across like there's a lot of things that caught my eye about this paper right and then so the uh, interesting and the intriguing thing so very simplistically what they do is so anomaly detection is like um, security for LM models right like um, holistically framing this if I like I've been thinking about this concept for a few months overall right like which is like maybe like a few, a few years uh, which is why I, I like I found this paper so interesting and, and intriguing that they've built out all of this because this is like a McAfee for LM models. That's the best way that I can put this, right? Which, I mean, if you think that, like, if you don't think that there's a market for McAfee, like, I mean, there's a, a multi-billion dollar market for McAfee, right? Like, uh, that market exists and it's pretty strong. Like, I think, and this could be uh, that same, same, uh, in that same vein for LLM models and for AI very specifically. That's what this does, right? It's a complete and comprehensive agent-based framework for AI security overall. And that's what it does, right? It's all based off of anomaly detection, detection, which is uh, like, uh, like would require, it's, it's, um, AI-based penetration and 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 AI-based penetration testing, right? So it's it's a very unique model overall. Like it's a um, security framework that doesn't currently exist in the status quo, but is massively needed. Like in in five years, everyone will know about this. Uh, and then so it's very interesting to me. Like so, you have uh, complete like this. This release is complete open source release, right? They released the research paper uh, as well as the code. So you have everything that you need wrapped up in a holistic package in order for this to go, right? Like it's all here, uh, which is beautiful. And then so uh, essentially, they asked the research question: Can we develop a general purpose a anomaly detection platform that leverages LLMs and existing libraries to build complete detection pipelines from the natural language intents of non-expert users? And that's the beautiful thing within this too, right? Is that it's all uh, LLM and NLP uh, based and driven. So it's driven to be um, like this, uh, like high end, super security, back end security for your average user. <laughs> it's kind of like what it breaks down to, right? It's it's like super security in the back end, but very simplistic and easy for the user to to utilize and to set up. And then so how they um, set that up is they have uh, their methodology, uh, which is essentially they, they create um, like different agents and then they have a, a memory system between the agents. Uh, and then that comes together to form the entire framework. And then within the agent, I'll break this down further. Uh, Essentially, what they do, like their uh, full releases, and like they listed out here, so all of their contributions are a unified multimodal library automation, so that full entire like end-to-end -end package, a modular, extensible, and long lifecycle design, accessible to non-experts, and then they release all the source code. And then how it works individually is two steps: the agents and the memory, right? So the agents, there, there's about um, we'll call it like eight to ten different agents within this, and then so each one of these. Like each uh, bold here under 2.1 is an individual agent. So there's a processor agent, there's a selector agent, there's an info miner agent, uh, and then it goes down to here to the second page, right? So uh, code generator and reviewer, these are two agents. Evaluator and optimizer, these are two agents. So you have two, four, five, six, seven agents in total that, that all work in conjunction. And then so processor basically takes your uh, data sets and then allows it so like you don't have to uh, format it because the, the agent does it for you right so it's what if it's like csv uh, 
uh, like .txt, whatever the format is, it's just like, okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna format and process that for you, right? Uh, and then based off of that, then the selector figures out exactly what it, uh, is needed for that, like which libraries would be required for that, and then so it, it selects the libraries. Uh, and then you have the info miner, which goes through and then goes through the, the data set and pulls through the, the most uh, it needed information within that. And then it uh, this particular agent can integrate uh, web search functionality. And then you have the code generator and reviewer, which again are two agents. So these two agents collaborate together to produce reliable detection scripts. And the generator composes code based on the user instructions and knowledge from the info miner. And then you have the evaluator and the optimizer. And then these two agents provide optional uh, extensions for performance evaluation and hyperparameter tuning. And then uh, from there on top of that, so you have the agents, then you have your agent collaboration and workflow. Uh, and then within that, like the, the main structure of that is a short term and a long term memory module. Uh, I play around with this a lot with uh, my model, like if I'm building out like a, a chatbot or anything along those lines for people, this is like the, the uh, uh, there's a lot of magic that you can do just by adding uh, memory, right? And then uh, within that, there's short-term, long-term, consistent memory. You like um, you can build out memory in any way that you want, right? Memory is its own uh, framework within this as well. So just highlighting that within this. And then with, within this, they have a short-term memory module and a long-term memory module. And they play those together uh, with each other, right? And that's essentially those that met those two memory modules, so two levers there, plus the eight agents, like uh, combined and like what by their powers combined, you get like the the full framework. Uh, and then that's essentially what they release within this. Um, and then that's, I mean, really the end of the paper there, right? And then they have their their testing and then some examples and then some uh, example Python script. But they release uh, all of it here, like all of the code. Uh, via GitHub and then this AD agent, AD dash agent. And then so uh, it's a multi-agent anomaly detection platform designed to support the full life cycle of real world anomaly detection from data pre-processing and model selection to detection, explanation, and evaluation. It integrates classical and graph-based anomaly detection algorithms with LLM powered modules for enhanced usability, privacy, uh, and adaptability. And then essentially they break through. It's very simple to, to set up. It's all based off of, so this currently right now is all based off of OpenAI, which is why I'm not demonstrating it because I don't want to flat out. I don't, I just don't want to pay for it, right? Uh, just to demonstrate it um, on this video. Uh, but they give you all the instructions as to, to uh, how to set it up within this. And I've looked it so, uh, you know, I, I, know, I know how to read through Python, <laughs> so I can look here. Uh, and I can see that it's uh, most of it is based off of LangChain and LangGraph, which is fantastic. I mean, it's okay to me, right? Like, it's, it, it uh, is what it is. Um, and then looking through the code, like, I, I've looked through, like, all of the, the, the code here. Um, and then so I have a good understanding of exactly how this works overall and exactly what it's doing and, and how it's put together, right? So bottom line to me um, if you're looking for a, like a, an app around this, like uh, you want to uh, uh, sell this overall, et cetera, like, I mean, literally you just need to take all of this and then put a front end wrapper around it, put some marketing around it, uh, build out some, like take the, the research paper here, <laughs> build it into like a actual uh, like white papers, hire a sales team, put some marketing dollars behind it, et cetera. Like you're, uh, this is um, a business in a box <laughs> right here, ready to go, right? And that's why I'm highlighting this. Uh, this is like flat out, like, I mean, ready to go. Like I, uh, this is as close as you're gonna get to like a, uh, guaranteed successful like just flat out like business here within this that you're ever going to get right uh, and then so I mean the bottom like why am I making a, a video on this instead of like doing this as a business model like I'm overdone and I, I flat out I don't want to build this out right like if you come to me and you're like hey let's go into this and, and you build all of this out no nah, bro <laughs> that's uh, why I make there's a reason why I'm making the video as opposed to just building it out right if I was just going to build it out I'd just go build it out <laughs> um, 
I don't have the interest in it or the time to, to do that overall. But like, uh, and I'm, but I mean, like I flat out, like this is like at a minimum uh, 18 to 24 months worth of work. And then you're cashing out your whole team's cashing out for 50 to $100 million. Like, I mean, that's my full expectation with the, the, they give you all of it here. Right. Uh, and that's what, I mean, what I could bring to someone <laughs> if you can't, if you're not understanding uh, exactly how to put all of this together, they've gift wrapped this to you like if if uh, I, I can't state that simplistically enough like all of the code is here uh, everything that you would need as far as the construction for the white papers is here all of the the uh, mathematics all of the the like logic you have the the experts you know like uh that you can put behind it that behind it this is everything that you would want to start McAfee for LM models <laughs> and it's all here right like I'm like like uh, I mean if uh, if I were to to be the most nitpicky person in the world there are of course things that I could nitpick about this overall right I wouldn't use the same I personally wouldn't build it out um, utilizing the back end that they're utilizing in this in instance lane chain and lane graph but uh, I didn't build it out <laughs> and it's all built out and it's ready to go Go, right uh, I would be willing to just flat out ignore that and just like okay like it, it, plug it in it, it works you're gonna know in some instances that you're gonna need some anomaly detection and then good thing that this is specifically for anomaly detection and then so my problems with uh, utilizing link chain and link graph on the back end this actually happens to solve for so it's a good use case in and of itself from that front right like because it's uh, my, my problems with it are what this does. So if it, if it works as advertised, then it solves my problems with it <laughs> kind of interestingly overall, right? It's how that breaks down. Um, and then so uh, here it is, one platform, multiple agents, all your anomaly detection workflows, automated, explainable, and secure, and the research paper, AD Agent, a multi-agent framework for end-to-end -end anomaly detection put out by USC, Carnegie Mellon, and ASU. It's not going to get better than this as to uh, the credentials and like the expert author uh, authorship behind it, the how they lay out uh, this framework, the simplicity of the framework, and the fact that they're targeting this framework very specifically for the common user, right? Like there's uh, all, and they've done all of the work. <laughs> like the literally the only thing that you need to do is put a, a front end wrapper on top of this. Like, uh, I mean, like hire a front end guy to like uh, to do this. Uh, hire a front end guy, hire a marketing, hire a sales team and understand how to put all of this together. That's all you need. Like if you if you need that person and you're willing to give me a percentage and you're willing to put up the money to put all this together, hit me up for that. I'll do that a million times over within this and I'll I'll take, you know, a small percentage of that 100 million in, in 24 months cuz like I mean it's guaranteed within this like fl flat out, right? Like it's uh I mean, it's cool overall that they've done all the work here. So uh, AD Agent, a multi-agent framework for end-to-end -end anomaly dissection. I'll leave a link to this paper as well as the uh, GitHub and the, the link to this video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.